Now, the government is an obligation to help youth access employment. It's a constitutional right. The same way Uru Kenyatta claims president of Kenya and that there's a judiciary, the youth of this country also have an entitlement to access employment. So the convention we're having in parliament today is we're telling parliament that one, we wanted to draw your attention as a of parliament that Kenya is currently experiencing a youth bulge. Which youth bulge, if properly harnessed, can create something called uh, a good demographic dividend. The second thing is that Kenya has the potential of ensuring that that democratic dividend gives the result of the Kenya that we want. However, in this country, youth issues have always been imagined. So we are asking government today, parliament today, in 2013, the parliament of Kenya passed a law called the Social Assistance Act. The Social Assistance Act is supposed to have been ensuring that youth, unemployed as they are, have access to social safety nets have some money. So today, we'll be marching to the House of Parliament and we'll be demanding amongst our prayers three things. That one, we need to have the total number of unemployed youth in this country determined. Right now, if you ask the Minister for Labour, how many unemployed graduates you have in this country, how many employed diplomas, how many certificates, they don't know. So how do you plan for a population that you do not know? You take people to school, you do not know how many they are, and you cannot then be able to give them jobs. So number one, we'll be asking them that we need a determination to know how many unemployed graduates, diploma holders, certificate holders exist in this country. Can we establish a register for them? Number two, we'll be asking government today, in this particular financial year, to create money the same way they pay old people money every month for, having, for being old, we are asking them to create 20,000 shillings per graduate. Pay them, because Social Assistance Act anticipates that if a graduate has no money, has no job, out of no fault of his own, he should be given assistance. So we'll be asking Parliament today to ensure that this particular financial year, all graduates are paid at least 20,000 shillings a month before they get jobs.